Camshaft lobes must be inspected for wear or abrasive damage before any measurements are made. We will measure camshaft lobe lift in two different ways, the calculated method and the direct method. The calculated method requires us to measure the camshaft lobe in two places using an outside micrometer. The first measurement must be taken across the largest portion of the lobe, as indicated by dimension A in the diagram. The second measurement will be taken across the base circle, indicated as dimension B in the diagram. Support your camshaft on your workbench using a set of V-blocks. Keep in mind that some camshaft lobes have taper machined into them to help promote lifter rotation in its bore. To ensure lobe taper does not affect these measurements, always measure from the same portion of the lobe surface. In this example, we are measuring from the exact center of the lobe width. Using your micrometer, take a measurement across the largest part of the lobe. In this example, our measurement is 1.5571 inches. Record the result. Now take another measurement across the base circle portion of the lobe. Our reading is 1.2901 inches. Again, record your result. To calculate lobe lift, your calculations will look like this. Dimension B, 1.2901 inches, is subtracted from dimension A. 1.5571 inches. This gives us a cam lobe lift total of 267 thousandths of an inch. Record the results of your calculations in your workbook.